carriage bolts are great for wood, especially in a case scenario where you're bolting two pieces together and you don't want to have a second bolt on the other side or you won't be able to get a socket on there. There's a little square on the end of it, so as your bolt goes through, it'll actually form to the shape of the wood. So you can imagine, once we get our bolt going on the other side here, it'll really start pulling the head up into the wood. And that'll form the wood to the shape of the square. And that's why this is round. You're not able to grab it with any kind of socket. It's completely smooth. So when everything is tightened up, it looks really nice and that's going to be held in there with the square it's shape. It's important that your drill bit is just large enough to let the threads pass. You don't want to make it too large or the square won't be able to press fit. This is a long 3 8 drill bit and I'm going to go all the way through. It's just long enough to reach all the way to the end. You can see as we'll tap in this carriage bolt, you'll see that the square will impress into the wood. Now when we go to put that nut on there, this is not going to spin. It's not moving at all. We'll put in another one. You can see that fits really nicely and then we'll tap that in place to set it. We'll put washers and nuts on them. As you turn this, the screw will inset and seat into the wood so you don't have to worry about holding it on the other side. You can see that this one is completely seated in. You can buy these carriage bolts in lots of different lengths in about half inch increments. We got these a bit longer, but we wanted to make sure we had extra material because we can always cut it off, but you never can add more.